Hey everybody, this is Dre Parts and Eddie Kreis from Bismarck. Today I'll be showing you how to navigate your way through the Uconnect 4C NAV 12 inch display. So let's get started. So this will be the first screen you're going to see. This is going to be your media page. So to navigate your media page, what you're going to want to do is go to your categories down here at the bottom page. And this will show you different genres of music. It's also got sports talk, uh, news, and also podcasts on here as well. Otherwise, just go back click tune if you know what channel you want to go to already just punch the number in hit go and that'll take you straight to that channel otherwise if you want to do Bluetooth music or you're looking for AM or FM you have that right here on the side and sometimes it's also displayed in the select source over here so you've got USB 2 and USB 3 as well okay so this is your climate page here um, you can pick all your different modes here by either tapping them or hitting the mode button here also, you do have your controls page for heated seats, vented seats, and heated steering wheel along with your cameras. So you do get a few different options here for camera-wise. Otherwise, we can just X out of that and go back to the next page. So the next page is going to be the navigation page. The easiest way to run this is just tap search. And then from here, you just type in the address that you would like to go to. And then you hit go and that will take you straight to that address. Otherwise, you do have your phone app here with the phone app. Would you like to pay your phone? Click yes, and then it'll set it up, show you how to pay your phone. And then once you pay your phone, it'll show you a couple different options such as um, your favorites, your recent phone calls, your contacts, a dial pad. And depending on what phone you have, it'll also show you messages on here as well. Otherwise, if you go into your apps, you do have a whole bunch of different apps. Um, with these apps, you can hold them down and move them down here and swap out these three on this side or the other three on this side. The apps control stays there, it never leaves. Another thing you'll notice is the buttons on the side of the, of the um, radio here. So you do have your temperature up, temperature down here on this side along with the passenger side here. You've got front and rear defrost, AC, and then you can recirculate the air within the cab. Um, you get your fan speed here on the driver's side along with all the modes here and then you have auto here as well. Um, along with the volume knob in the browser, you do have a mute button so you can mute the radio. Um, just click that again, that'll unmute the radio. Otherwise, if equipped down here, you will have um, your air ride suspension which will lower the vehicle or raise it. And then you have your traction control here, tow haul mode here, and then your rear and front parking sensors here as well. In the top right corner, you'll have your settings button here. You can go into this and kind of mess with a whole bunch of different things. Um, another cool thing with this is if you go to your display, it'll give you a couple different themes you can pick from. So you get five different themes. So you can go with either blue, red, another red, um, the Longhorn Edition um, brown, or the Longhorn Edition black. Um, otherwise, if you go back and you go to Safety Driving Assistance, this will have all your different um, sensitivities for lane park, um, park sensors, blind spot alert. Um, you can decide if you want to either keep the side steps in if equipped or you can have them down 24-7 um, up to you. Otherwise you will have a hill start assist and tire flow assist as well. Another quick tip here is if you're going through your driving and safety assistance here and you don't know exactly what these do, if you just hit that little arrow that will pop the screen down a little bit and there's this little information button here, if you click that, that will tell you exactly what that specific feature does. Another thing that this does come with is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If you're new to that, basically as long as you have your charging cord with you and it has that little three cord symbol on it, it will it is compatible so it will work in the vehicle. So what you do is you just plug it into your uh, USB port here and then plug it into your phone and with Apple if you just unlock it and allow it, you can use the Apple CarPlay which will basically mirror your phone screen onto this system here. Um, so you'll have your Apple Maps, um, your text messaging, phone calls, um, podcasts, music apps, any of that kind of stuff. And it goes for the same as with Android Auto, except with the Android Auto, you do have to download an app. Um, it takes just a few seconds to download and go through, and then all you have to do is the same thing, just like an Apple iPhone, just plug it in, plug it into the phone, and then it does the exact same thing, except you'll have Google Maps and then all the other same things. To learn more about the Uconnect 4C Nav 12-inch display, stop by ID Chrysler in Bismarck or visit us online at idchrysler.com.